Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? The Undisputed Man here with a new video. I'm very quick. I want to talk about uh, something crazy that happened to me the other day. So, before I get this video started off, uh, like and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be alerted for when I upload a new video. So, <coughs> what's, today? what's today? Friday. So, Wednesday, I decided to go out. I decided to go out to the mall. I've had plans on maybe buying some clothes. Maybe buying a GoPro if I could find an electronic store. And I don't know if I should I should say the name of the mall out here in New York. Because I don't want them to get bad press about what happened. So pretty much what happened was um, Wednesday I, I went out to the mall because I said I was gonna, uh, I had um, plans to buy clothes. And maybe a GoPro if I could find an electronic store. So y'all know how uh, people sell candy in the mall. They come up to you, they, they get you to buy candy, whatever like that. I take partial responsibility on what happened because I was dumb enough to do this. Um, so some guy came up to me um, trying to sell me candy, whatever like that. He gave me, he gave me four pack, packs of airheads. And I took the airheads and he was like, yo, you know, um, split the, um, when I took out my money and he seen that I had a hundred in my wallet, he was like, yo, so, um, um, break the hundred, I'll give you change. So me being dumb enough, I took out the hundred because I said, okay, whatever, I'll break the hundred or whatever like that. So he takes the hundred and I'm figured, okay, he could give me like four twenties or something like that or whatever change he had out of the hundred. Um, but instead this guy took my money and while, and, and, and another thing I realized is when I pulled out the hundred, I didn't realize that I pulled out an extra 50 until, <coughs> until after the fact that the money was in his hand. I'm like, yo, give my money, whatever like that. And he acted like he didn't want to give me my money. But in the process, two other guys came up to me trying to sell me candy and trying to get me to give them change or some shit like that. So these two um, scumbags was distracting me while the other guy, the first guy that came up to me trying to sell me candy, ran off my money. So <clears throat> and some people might ask, well, why didn't you file a police report? The reason why I didn't file a police report it's for one, because I was so mad that day that that, 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 that I left the mall and I went somewhere, somewhere else. I didn't even want to come back home. He ran off on my whole $150. And the 50 was by accident. I took out the 50 by accident. I didn't realize I took the 50 out until after the fact that I took out the 100 and it was, the money was already in his hands. He ran off my money. Okay. So I got so mad. I walked out of the mall, I went back home. But before I walked out of the mall and went back home, I talked to one of the security guards about what happened. And he asked me, did I want to file a police report? I said, no, uh, because it's no point. What is the cops going to do? This guy had a mask on, uh, a face mask on. And it was two other guys there. They kept saying that they didn't know, they didn't know the guy, which, which, which was bullshit. I knew that they knew the guy. Let's be honest here. They knew him. They was distracting me while he ran off my $150. And I said, you know what? I don't want to follow a police report. I left. I, I, I went out. And you know what? I'm going to say the mall right on, on, on this video. I'm not trying to get the mall in trouble, even though the mall does have some responsibility because they, they should do a better job at keeping these guys out of the mall from selling candy because even they said it was trespassing. But this was at Queen Center Mall. I'm not going to say where I live at. Uh, but I live, uh, I, I live, I don't live close to the mall. So I had to travel to the mall. So I said, okay, I'll go to Queen Center Mall, check some stuff out, see if they got some new stores or whatever like that. So I came back the next day, which was yesterday, Thursday. And I, I visited the security office because I wanted to see if they was, a, they was able to help me in any way. They told me that the only way that, um, the only way. Any of this will, will come up to something is if I follow a police report. They told me the same thing. And I'm like, I really don't want to follow a police report because, God forbid, if I run into these guys again at Queen Center Mall the next time I go, I'm not going to stop going to Queen Center Mall because these guys are at the, at the, at the mall. I'm not scared of these guys. But I, I did not want to put myself in a position where if I would have pressed him about my money, those two other guys would have tried to jump me. So it would have been three on one at that point. So I told myself, you know what? I put myself in the wrong position. I was not supposed to stop for these guys. It was one of those days where I was nice enough to stop for them. I said, okay, I split my 100 or whatever like that. He did not give my change. I didn't realize that I took out an extra 50 right along with the 100 until after the fact. So I pretty much got fucked 
for hundred and fifty dollars. And only a few people know about the story. Not everybody knows about this because it was embarrassing in my opinion. I was not supposed to put myself in that position. I was dumb enough and I take partial responsibility. But the mall is also responsible for putting them uh, for not keeping these guys out of the mall. So they told me, well, you can file a complaint, but I doubt it's going to go that far. And the only way that they'll be able to go back on the cameras to see what, uh, the guys who had involvement in it, especially the main guy, is if I file the police report. The reason why I didn't file for the police report is because I didn't see any mean, means to file a police report because, for one, the guy had a mask on. So it would have been harder for them to, to, to um, recognize his face. Second of all, it wasn't a guarantee that I was even getting my $150 back anyway. So I was not going to go through a whole police report if I wasn't going to potentially get my $150 back. So he pretty much got away with $150 out of my pocket. So I told myself, you know what? It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. And some people say that, you know, I should have fought the guy. I should have pressed him about my money. As I said, it was three people there. The other two guys was distracting me while he ran off for my $150. I was not going to put myself in a position where I was getting up fighting three guys. I was not going to potentially fight three guys. So I said, no, it's not worth it. So after yesterday, after I slept on it Wednesday night, after the day it happened, and then I went back that Thursday, and I decided, you know what, it's not worth it. I'm not going to file a police report. That's when I told myself, Karma is going to take care of him. Karma is going is to do my job. I'm not going to stop going to Queen Center Mall just because these guys finessed me out of 150. And a 50 was by accident, as I said. So it's not like I'm broke. It's not like I'm walking around with just 50 hours in my pocket when it happened. I have plenty of money on me. I have money that I saved for the whole year. And I'm blessed at the fact that I can say that I have money now. I can, I'm blessed at the fact that I don't, I'm not sitting there with only $50 in my pocket like, like back in the day. I know the struggle. I know how it feels to have a dollar in your pocket or zero dollars in your pocket. I know how it feels to be in that position. And some people, my, one of my friends was judging me because of it. He was like, well, you should have fought the guy, whatever like that. But I was not going to put myself in a position where I was going to, I was going to end up fighting three guys. I'm not a fighter. I'm not a physical person. Even though I should be for moments like that, I'm just not a physical person. So this goes out to Queen Center Mall. You need to do a better job at keeping these scumbags off the fucking property. Most shit like this. I, as I said, I take partial responsibility for it because I was dumb enough to try to split the 100 with this guy and accidentally pulled out a 50. The, the mall needs to, the, the mall is mostly responsible because they don't do a better job at keeping these guys off the property. They're not supposed to be selling candy inside the mall. They already said that it's trespassing. And if they catch you doing it, you're going to either get kicked out or you're going to get a ticket for it. So, as I said, it's time for me to move on from this. I live, I live and I learn. And... As I said, I'm not trying to, I'm not calling Queen Senate Mall out in this video. I'm just telling my story about what happened. And I know next time not, not to stop for anybody. I don't care if that person is actually doing a good deed by selling candy. I, it was just one of those days where I was nice enough to stop for somebody. And his scumbag ass took my $150 and ran off with it. That's exactly what he did. I should have went to security that, that, that moment it happened. I should have went right to the security and told them what happened. But as I said, I, I didn't want to file a police report because, God forbid, if I would have seen these guys again, they would have tried to do something. So I was going to put myself in a dangerous situation, a potential dangerous situation, over $150. I know $150 is a lot of money, but I, I, I told myself it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. I'm not going to put myself in a position where these guys can try to do something to me in the future. No. So I left it alone. And some people might say, well, you're a pussy for letting this guy take your $150. As I said, I'm not a fighter. I'm not a physical person. I don't know how to fight. I should know how to fight, but I don't. And, you know, people can judge me all they want. 
friends and family can judge me all they want. Uh, <clears throat> the one or two people that actually asked if I was okay, I appreciate those people. Everybody else who didn't ask if I was good, guess what? You're gone. Um, so, yeah. Um, it, it, that, that's all I want to talk about. Um, as I said, I take partial responsibility for what happened. I should have never split that 100 with that guy. And, and I don't know how the fuck I pulled out an extra 50. I, I was eager to grab the money so quick. I didn't realize I grabbed the extra 50. So that was a whole 150 hours down the drain. And and the police report wasn't going to do much. They would have had to try to find this guy. I doubt they would have even found this guy. And even if they would have found this guy and took him to jail, he would have came out the, the exact same day or the next day. And he would have had a press note. He wouldn't have had no charges on him. And it wasn't a guarantee that I was even going to get my $150 back anyway. So I didn't see the point in following a police report. Like I, like that $150 is down the drain now. And I take partial, as I said, I take partial responsibility. But it's also the, the mall's responsibility because they're supposed to keep these guys out of the mall from selling candy. And for any people who, who in the future that, that, that that's going there selling candy, and I ruined your chances of selling candy in the mall, so be it. Blame those faggots that, that took my $150 and ran off. Uh, as I said, I'm going to let Karma do her job for me. Those fucking scumbags who distracted me and, and the scumbag who took my 150 and ran off, I hope you burn in hell. I hope... I hope you burn straight to hell and in ashes. Um, and I don't want to think negative because I don't want to think negative, but it is what it is now. Um, so, yeah, I pretty much got bamboozled out of $150, but that's okay. Because as long as I have my other money in my pocket, that's all that matters to me. It's not like I'm broke. It's not like I'm walking around with only $50 in my pocket. I have hundreds of dollars in my pocket. Um, so yeah, so that's all I want to talk about in today's video. So anybody who live in the New York city area and you go to Queenston Mall, don't stop for these guys. Even if some of these guys are actually good people and actually, um, do a good deed. Most of these people that's selling candy in the mall, like, like, like the guy that stole my money did. Don't stop for those guys. Don't stop for anybody at this point. And, and, and I learned my lesson. This is why I don't stop for anybody because Shit like this happens. And I didn't think that I was going to be in this predicament. But I ended up being in this predicament. And I know next time I know next time not to stop for these guys. And I, I apologize to the ones who who's actually doing a good deed by selling candy. But the guys who, who, who distracted me and the guy who took my money and ran off with it. They ruined your chances of actually getting people to... Buy, buy, buy whatever you're selling because it's bad people in the world. And I, I would never do nothing like that to somebody because it's wrong. I see if he would have took my 100 and then I told him about the 50 I took up accident. I see if he would have gave me the 100. I would have given a fuck if it was $50 at this point. $20, whatever. $10, whatever. $5, whatever. But $150 is a lot of fucking money down the drain. And as I said, uh, those guys that took my money, Karma will handle them. Karma, karma will handle them. And I don't want people looking at Queen Cinema as the, as, as the devil because they not. But they should do a better fucking job at having security guard, having more security guards around um, the mall. Because you have idiots like this who, who, who steal money from people. And it's not fair because I would never do nothing like that to somebody because it's wrong and it's disrespectful. But I was an idiot. I was dumb enough to try to split the hundred, and I got screwed. Uh, well, well, apparently for the people who don't know about the story, they probably gonna know now since they know my YouTube channel, so they gotta know. Um, but it's whatever. So that's what I want to talk about in today's video. You live and you learn. Um, fuck those guys. Those guys are complete scumbags. If one, if all of them get shot and killed and end up on the news, I will laugh at them. And I hope they family mourn their death because they deserve it. Uh, but anyways, um, like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so you could be up so you could be alerted for the upload a new video. And 
I'll speak to y'all next time. Peace out.